freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Welcome to my channel, my name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you are all okay. We are in the yard. It is currently a Thursday afternoon. No, it's still morning, it's still morning. Um, we just had an inspection on the truck. Uh, so we've been here all morning. We, done well, we did a delivery this morning. Uh, and now we are ready to go and start our day for the second time. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so we're in the yard just charging up my microphone because it's still dead from the last time I forgot to charge it up so I'll charge it up later anyway for now let's uh, let's make our way out of here yeah we just had uh, just had our inspection done truck is all good it's all gravy um, and we're good for the rest of the day now this video is gonna be quite simple I actually know exactly what I'm doing as well in this video um, we are on our way to Tetbury. At your destination at 12.21. We're on our way to Tetbury. Uh, but we do need to stop and get some fuel on the way. Uh, and then we need to get loaded with uh, pallets, I believe. There's 20 pallets. That's going to Sandbatch. It's going to a building site. I don't think I'm going to make the building site today. So it's going to be a night out somewhere nearby. I don't actually know where yet. I need to do some more research. I was planning on getting the Sandbatch delivery made today. Uh, but... Um, inspection took longer than expected plus also i got a couple of led bulbs changed which may have added an extra 30 minutes or so to uh to the inspection time so i don't think we're going to make the delivery today we, we were hoping we could but it doesn't matter anyway because all we've got to do from sand batch is go up to birkenhead to the location that i can't film in which is fine i won't film there but i can show you the load afterwards and then we're heading back down uh, back to the yard again. Uh, that's all it is. So, very nice day. Got well, a couple of days, day and a half. Um, and we're going to try and do a bit. Of, I'm going to show you a bit more driving on the roads uh, because you're not going to see quite as much. But the building site we're going to does look like it's down a narrow lane. That is going to be interesting. It could be quite narrow, quite quite challenging. So, that is going to be the interesting part in this video. And then we're going to head up to Birkenhead, get loaded with some rebar bring that back down to the yard again and finish off our working week that is the plan um, however we need to go get some fuel first so i will see you in a little while once we've got some fuel and uh and we're at tetbury so i'll see you in a bit right we have fuel we are on the final approach now to tetbury to be loaded with these 20 pallets i feel the need to say right now <laughs> i can feel myself getting ill do you ever feel that when you feel yourself getting ill I've got, I feel like my, my throat's closed up a little bit, I feel, and I'm a little bit bunged up and I've got a bit of a runny nose. I can feel myself getting ill. Tomorrow I might be really ill, I don't know. You'll see because I do plan on recording tomorrow, <laughs> but I might feel really rough tomorrow. There's a couple of horses on this field on the left, so we are going to take a slightly wider approach because we can. Just to be safe. But yeah, no, I can feel myself getting a little bit ill. Not good. Not good. Anyway, uh, it's 20 to 1 in the afternoon. Like I said, all I've done today is do a delivery down to South Cerny, back to the yard, and I've just sat there and done nothing, basically, but, uh, because the truck was being inspected. So we're going to get loaded. I've got a funny feeling this isn't going to be delivered today. I really do. It's, gone to, it's going to the building site, so I'll probably give them a call and just confirm when I can deliver it, but also delivery sites don't normally take deliveries until gone eight o'clock as well, so it could be, it could be a late start tomorrow, potentially. That car's coming down quite fast. 
Uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, let's turn right into here. Lovely. Ugh. So we've got a walking floor who's not actually parked all the way to the front, so I will be parking in front of them. But it's not pushing in because he's delivering and we're collecting, so it's different. But also, he's not all the way up the front, so it's a bit weird. He must be on a taco break or something. So we will park directly in front of him. And then uh, hopefully we can go on in. Uh, has he moved now? No, he hasn't moved, but also he's not really parked. There's another walking floor coming out. There's a walking floor truck coming out now, so I'm going to let this truck through and then maybe this one goes in. Maybe. Or maybe they stop and have a little chin wag. A lot of them do. Even my colleagues do. Right, this one's not moving, so we will park in front. Or at least we'll go and have a look. He was having a little look at me. Is there a truck in there? Uh, yeah, there is one truck in there. That's our truck as well, I think. Yeah, so I think, uh, I don't know actually. No, we've got, I know we've got pallets, so we are just gonna drive in. Cause I know we've got pallets. So where that truck is now, we won't need to park up there. So I know we can drive in, just remembered. Hopefully they can open the gate for me. Yeah. Right. Let's go on in. We've got our little buzzer thing here. That is my colleague there, Kieran. Yeah. Right. Yes and no. I tipped that thing this morning. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you took the That's it. But yeah, you know, he took a good two hours, <laughs> two plus hours, but he was really thorough. Yeah. And respectful, so. No. No, that's the first thing he said. He goes, I, I won't wear anything, no boots, no overalls inside your truck. It's like, you'll be like deer then. Yeah, it'll be all right then. Yeah. See you in a bit. Yeah, all pallets. Right, so we're in. Do a quick spin of Rooney over here. And off we go. Yeah, the only reason I come straight in is because I knew it was all pallets, and uh, when it's all pallets, you load over here rather than where my colleague was, so you can get two trucks in at a time. But if it was all bolt bags, then they wouldn't have let me in. But I knew what I wanted, so it's all good. It's all gravy, baby. Right, let's get loaded. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, nearly done. Just grab another one of these. Uh, the Jenkinson's driver over there. The reason why he was looking at me is because actually he recognised me. <laughs> so thanks for watching, mate. Do appreciate it. We're going to keep stepping this up. Got two more pallets to do up, and then I'm going to crisscross it on the back as well. You'll see in a sec. So, I'm just going to do this one up. I know you've got some straps in the way, so you can't really see me. Okay, that's one done. Today. 
you go, tidy up the strap. Bob's your uncle, put that away. Give it one more for luck. Oh, I'll give it two more for luck. Okay, so here's the deal, right? They're all strapped up, but I want one crisscross on the back. So we throw a strap over, this orange one, in this case, is thrown over. And all we do is, uh, I'm gonna try and do it with one hand. <laughs> Looped it around like that, catch it on the end, like that, and then it goes crisscross like that. We're gonna do that up now. There you go, that's the finished product. So we've got a strap on the back end. Uh, one to do. I think, I think one would be fine. I, some people put two over. I'm thinking actually, do you know what? Yeah, let's put a second one over as well to be safe. Okay, so we've thrown another strap over, put over here. We now walk over the other side, grab it and do the same as what we did before. Here it is. So we're trying to do it with one hand again. So you grab it, do that. There you go, and tighten it up down here. So find a good place for the hook, which is going to be here in this instance. And then you just start doing it up. I need a bit of lube on this one. I'm going to go get some lube a sec. So this is literally chain lube. Just put it on the ratchet. And then uh, now I can do it with one hand up rather than two. Do that up. Lovely. Tidy up the end. And now this will be fully secured. And let me show you. Okay, so as you can see, we're crisscrossed on the back. We've got straps down every side. Sorry, each side of every pallet. There's a fully strap load. It's not going to go anywhere. Got loads of room. Could probably fit another two and a half pallets on. Maybe three. But yeah, done. Put the chain lube back in uh, my compartment and we can get weighed out. Make sure we're not overweight. I mean, I am overweight, but make sure the truck isn't. Okay, so we're weighed in. We are 41 and a half tonnes well under limit so that's good obviously well it might not be obvious we can weigh up to 44 tons if uh, if you didn't know up to 44 tons or 44,000 kilograms and we are 41,500 kilos so that's good right i've got absolute well i was going to say i've got absolutely no idea i've got an idea of where it is but um I don't know exactly which way we, we're using to get there, so I need to do some research. It's 103 miles away. Yeah, see, where it's sending me on my sat-nav is not exactly where it was earlier when I looked. It's just down the road a little bit. That's a weight-limited road. Lovely. Hi, yeah, good afternoon. Um, I've got a delivery for you from Melcourt Industries. It's 20 pallets of bark. Uh, multiple purpose. I'm just wondering what time uh, you would take a delivery. What's the latest today? Uh, I've got a Cheshire House construction site. Uh, well, this number I've called 01722 and then it says... Yeah. My name is Luke. Five o'clock. Lovely, thank you very much. Cheers, thank you, bye-bye. Okay, good news, we can deliver today. We're gonna get cracking. Apparently they take deliveries up until five o'clock. That's amazing. Our ETA there is 20 past four. So if we get cracking, um, it will mean that we obviously finish later today, but, that means we've got a very nice chilled day tomorrow. We'll make our way up there. Um, we might get caught in traffic, you never know. Might road could be closed, it could mess us up, but I think we are going to crack on. Let's crack on up there and uh, 
see if we can get it off. Hey, right. I will see you in a little while. Bye bye. Okie dokie, situation report. So, we have been caught in an awful lot of traffic, particularly joining onto the M6 where we are now from the M5. Uh, we won't be making the delivery today. Um, yeah, ETA is past five o'clock now. It's actually 16.58 to be precise. So we're not going to get there till five o'clock. And that's and we're still like an hour away, so we still could get held up even more. So we're not going to make the delivery today. Uh, we'll just head there tomorrow morning. So the next question is where we're going to stop. I was originally going to stop at Stafford. Not the services, but there's like... You come off a junction, you turn left at roundabout, there's like a little tiny draw carriageway. Um but they've got parking bays on the left. So I was thinking about parking there, but I don't know. You know, like I said earlier, I just feel like I'm starting to feel like I'm coming down with something and I feel hot to touch. I don't know whether I look any different on camera, but I feel hot to touch. And uh, I'm thinking of, at the very least, stopping into this services here and uh, getting some paracetamol <laughs> just to see if I can get the sickness well, not the sickness, but the potential sickness bug to go away. Because, I don't know, I might, might feel rough. So we're going to stop at Hilton Park Services, at the very least, just to get some uh, some paracetamol. I don't need them, I'm not in pain or anything, but I'm hoping if I take them, then it'll make me feel better. And then uh, if I feel better, then I get better, if that makes sense. Because I, I tend to feel worse. I get worse if I feel worse. Does that make sense? I don't know. So we're going to stop in here. I might actually just stay here the night, to be honest with you, because like I said, I'm an hour away. So I am I am sort of tempted just to stay here for the night. we we'll see how busy it is. It's only four o'clock in the afternoon, so... It, hopefully it's going to be quite quiet. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. But, yeah, we're not going to get to the delivery until five o'clock. We're still an hour away. No one likes anyone turning up as they are stopping. Do we go right? Yeah, we go right. Clear. Slow it down, slow it down. Yeah. So I might park up here for the night, have some paracetamol, maybe get an early night's sleep, I don't know. If there is space. Is there space? That is the question. It looks busy already, I can see. Is that a space there? That is a space there. might just park in that space if this space here is oh, there's, yeah, there's loads of space um i'm gonna park here do i want to park there oh, where do i park <laughs> where do i park let's park here there's a bin right behind me as well so i've got somewhere to put my rubbish i would park here on the end but uh it's not a natural space. Is that a truck? There's a truck here. It seems to be like one and a half spaces. Oh, I've messed that up. Jesus Christ. I messed that up big time. <laughs> I was turning uh, way too sharply, not concentrating on the driver side. Uh, yeah, driver side. Let's tuck it in. Oh, that sun has come out. That sun has come out all of a sudden. We need to move over quite a bit more. So this truck is sort of on the line a bit. on my side of the line, which means I'm going to be tight on the left side. And then like, no, my luck, here, move. And then it looked like I've parked weird. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, let's go check that. Yeah, I definitely, I'm not feeling 100%, 100% so I think it's a good idea to stop. 
I do think it's a good idea to stop driving for now. I'm gonna go take some tablets and then hopefully I feel better in the morning. Um, right, let's go check the trailer. Yeah, you can see I've got loads of room at the back still, so I might go back a bit more. But you can see here that he, I'm clearly on my side, he's gone over a bit. Never mind. So, I was actually over there, but I've moved over to this lane now, the front lane. There was someone parked next to me as well, who recognised me, had a little chat. I'm now going to go and get some paracetamol and maybe some cough medicine, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go. Yes. I think that is what we need. Yep. Yeah, uh, sore throat, blocked nose. That is what I have. Okay, so, yes, <laughs> I'm in bed. Um, it's 11 o'clock at night. I've been led in bed most of the evening, actually. I've taken uh, some Nurofen for the uh, for the blocked nose. Hopefully tomorrow I'm going to wake up a little bit better. I don't think I am. I think I'm going to wake up a bit croaky. But uh, we'll see. But, um, yeah. I just thought I'd show you this. I've, I've never done this in a video before, I don't think. So this is me checking out for the night, so to speak. So I've got to turn my fan on because I sleep with a fan on during the night. It's just above me. Uh, and then, yeah, we close the curtains and turn the light out. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll see you in the morning. I just went on really bright. I didn't mean to do that. That one, that's it, off. See you in the morning. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Okay, good morning everyone. How are we doing? Yes, my voice is slightly croaky. I told you, I can feel something coming on. <laughs> um, but we're okay-ish. We are, uh, which lane do we want? We want to take this lane, left lane. We had, uh, well, we, we got a whole pack of Nurofen. <laughs> we had four tablets last night before we went to bed. And then I had four this morning. Um, probably too much, but... <laughs> Just take it in one go, why not? Um, so, yeah, I'm a little bit blocked up, but I feel fine. It's just blocked up and a bit of a croaky voice, that's all. I feel alert and fine still, so we are driving. Um, I planned on being up and ready and leaving at seven o'clock this morning to get to my destination for eight o'clock. Well, we woke up late, it's 20 past eight now, and we're still like 25 minutes away, so. Yeah, we woke up a little bit late. <laughs> I, um, I just couldn't get to sleep. I was like bunged up and I just couldn't fall asleep. I eventually fell asleep. Like I, I done that video uh, at like 11 o'clock at night. Uh, and I was in bed from like eight o'clock, seven o'clock maybe. Like I was just in bed and I just couldn't fall asleep. Um, to flash you in. But eventually we fell asleep, so it's all gravy, baby, all gravy. We're 22 minutes away from our delivery point. Uh, it's a little bit, a little bit gloomy outside, a bit of, a bit of rain, a bit dark out. So I have a feeling this site's going to be quite muddy, so that's not good. It's definitely going to be a muddy site, I can see it happening. So my boots are going to get muddy, my straps are going to be muddy when I take them off. Oh, nightmare, nightmare, but never mind, we'll get around it, we'll get around it. So, some of you may have missed it, but a couple of videos ago I uploaded a short video regarding the Tom Tom Go navigation. Now, I will put a link in the, in the description down below and I'll put a little bit of an overlay over me now so you can see the gist about what it is and what I'm talking about. But essentially, it's an app for your Android phone which turns your phone into a HGV sat-nav. You can put your height, your length, your width, your, your weight, everything in it and it'll take you suitable roads for your vehicles, like personalised routing. You don't have to pay a large free up front for a sat nav, you can pay either monthly or you can pay annually. And there is a discount code available at the moment, which is TRY1M3. 
try one M free and you get a month off uh, on top of your uh, discount that's already applied anyway that they got going on at the moment so definitely check it out the TomTom Tom Go Navigation link is in the description down below and uh, yeah it's a fantastic device especially for those who don't already have a HDV sat nav it's a much much cheaper alternative so yeah it's all good definitely check it out TomTom Tom Go Navigation link is in the description down below anyway we are still 17 minutes away from where we need to be so I'm going to crack on it's mostly a road now but it is going to get to a point where the a road stops and it's going to be a single track lane going into a construction site and the other side of the construction site according to Google is a closed road which means vehicles are going in and out of this one way in system thing down a single track lane so it's going to be interesting it's going to be interesting I'll see you when we get there, see you in a bit. I think, I think the road, this road that we're on sweeps around to the right, but we're, stay, we're, we're kind of bearing off to the left, so I think the low bridge is to the right. I think. We can turn around in there if need be, if we have to reverse back. This is where you start keeping an eye on like places to turn around. Yeah, low bridge is saying off to the right. Okay, that's cool. We're going left. Well, actually, why are we going left or are we going straight over? It's weird. It's just, this is a left turn, but then you've got to cross the carriageway right here. Awkward. Right, this is the start of the single track lane. We are 0.7 of a mile away. There's an alarm going off there. Now this could get interesting if we meet another vehicle. A car would be okay, but another truck wouldn't. Oh, I see flashing lights. <coughs> it appears to have stopped raining, that's good. Oh man, we don't want to meet another truck coming down here. Uh, what's that flashing? Whew. Okay, passing space, that's good. I don't know whether he stopped for me or not, I don't know. He's moving now. But this is definitely the only way in, because there was signage there saying uh, this road is closed, you can't go, it's not no through road it said, which means it's closed up ahead. And according to Google, it is closed up ahead as well, after the site. So, this is the only way in and out. And it should be this site here on the right. Is it this one? No, the next one. Oh, that's low. That's very posh. Definitely no trucks there. S site entrance, yeah, that's what we want. Oh man, this is gonna be so muddy. This site's going to be well dirty, you can see it. Well, okay, there's a van there, we're turning right. And there's parking park spaces here as well. Oh, that's a bit of a dip there. Mind the dip a little bit. Are we in the right place? Okay, so we are being tipped on the road, as you can see. So he's just come one off that time, he's taking them in the site. Takes a little bit longer than ideal, but it is what it is. Uh, but at least we've got to go in, but we do have to do a tight reverse. Just spin around to get around, reverse into that gate, but should be right. We'll get it on camera. Plus it's on the good side, so you should be able to see the angle as well. But yeah, we've come over a little bit on this side, just so we can have a bit of room to work. This is all gravy, baby. Get this off and we can crack on to Birkenhead. So as you can see, from this angle, you can take a load off. When it gets to about there or so, I'll then reverse back a little bit and you can do the ones on the front. And then, uh, reverse on into here.
Okay, one more left to come off, I think. It should be done. The camera's a bit blurry. Uh, I think that's actually there might be two more left to come off. I need to get paperwork signed as well, so I'll jump out in a minute and get that signed, double check it's all off, and then we've got to attempt the manoeuvre. Okay, last one coming off. Okay, so we're good to go, but I need a bank to the time we start moving. Giving him the thumbs up, but he's not doing anything, he's just standing there, the banksman. Right, <laughs> no one is telling me. No one is telling me anything. So I'm just going to attempt to do it myself. All right, okay, okay, the banksman is getting the idea now. I mind the tree. No, we're not going to make that. We've got to get tighter. We've got to get tighter. Got a bit of plastic on the left side we're just watching out for. I thought he was telling me to stop then. Bit of bush on the left. It's more than a bush, it's a bit of a branch. Don't really got any room that way. Just need to try and start turning and straightening up a little bit, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to catch it. So I've got to do a couple of quick shunts. Like so. Now I can catch it a bit more. We should be able to get out from here as long as that truck moves. Mate, get back. First, <laughs> I dropped, dropped his heart out. Lovely, all good. Branches. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Give him a little bit of a tootie hootie. Right. Yeah, it's a bit of a tight turn, reverse, but we got there. I didn't think I was going to get in one go. I did need to take a shunt or two, so. Yeah, so we're going to crack on now to Birkenhead, get loaded with this rebar. We should be there for about 11 o'clock. Um, I'd like to be there no longer than an hour. That would be ideal. Um, 
So if we're out by 12, fantastic, but I can't see us leaving until one o'clock at the earliest. Um, and then, like I said, I think it's a four hour drive back, so, and we need a break. So we are looking, I think, about five-ish, if all goes to plan. But there is a chance they could load us real quickly and we can get a break in on the way down and we can give you back the full five. So, but it doesn't matter. We shall take the day as it comes. But yeah, no, that was interesting enough. A little bit of a tip on the road. So you've got to be cautious sometimes because you can tip on the road like that and sometimes they'll ask you to go down the road and then spin around and come back. Well, two things, firstly, A, you're supposed to restrap that load back up because you're on a public highway. So you ought to be strapping it back up. And B, all the weight's on one side of the trailer. So it's a bit naughty really, but yeah, that's, uh, that's what happens. But we made it, we're good. Yeah, A50, I've seen some signs. This looks like it's a promising way. The motorway is up here a little bit. So uh, yeah, we are heading in the right direction. So I'm gonna go now, I'll see you probably, because I'm not allowed to film in this next place. So we'll probably actually see you somewhere after we're loaded and uh, it's all on and I'll show you what we've got. I'll stop somewhere and I'll show you what we've got on. That probably, uh, that probably sounds like the best. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm not allowed to film inside the place, but you can't see anything. I'm inside my truck. So we've got our paperwork. Um, we've given it to the forklift driver. He's now gone off to see if he can find this stuff because obviously it's quite a big place. Uh, lots of stuff all over the place. He needs to take me to the right pile. So he should be back soon and then we can uh, go and get loaded. We've got 12, 20 mil, I think it was, uh, 16 meters long. So there will be an overhang on this one. Um, I'm pretty sure I said last time there'd be an overhang and there wasn't, but there will definitely be an overhang on this one. Um, 16 meters long, so I'll show you that when we can, when we're outside of this place. Um, there's, there's like a boat ringing or something, I don't know what it is, come here. Oh, it's just stopped. <laughs> oh, it started. Stopped, started, stopped. It's like it's doing it to wind me up. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we're just gonna sit tight. If we, if we, um, if we're loaded relatively quickly, we'll be back in the yard by four. Today's a good day. I think I might have a cold. Not sure. Not COVID. Well, I don't know, it might be, I don't know. Don't have to do a test anymore, do you? No one talks about COVID anymore. Have you noticed? No one talks. So I've, I've, I've had the whole packet of this. There's none left, is there? No, 70. So I've had the whole packet of nothing. Um, so yeah, just blocked up sinus, that's all, I guess. Not the end of the world. Still can work. Right, situation report. Forklift drivers come back. Don't know if they found the stuff or not, but it doesn't matter because they ain't loading me because they don't like me. That is long and short of it. Uh, I mentioned in the last video, they, the reason I'm not filming on site and so you, you can't see anything is because um, I uploaded a video a while back and I made a silly comment about forklift driver wanting, uh, wanting me to kill someone basically by putting not enough straps on and I just simply said, no, I'm going to put more straps on. They didn't like it, understandably, um, they banned me, but I've been here twice since and they have loaded me, today they don't want to load me. So, contacted the boss, don't know what's happening. Could mess up the day, I don't know. Or I could get sent straight back from here, I don't know. Either way, it's not ideal. Um, no, they've loaded me twice since, last week. And uh, we come all the way here today and they won't load me. So it's not good, it's not good. Um, ironically, it's actually because of the YouTube that we got this job in the first place. Because the client who uh, gave my boss the work watches my YouTube channel. So it's because of me we got the work in the first place. So kind of not really losing the work because I'm the one who got the work, if that makes sense. Um, but it's still a bit rubbish. Like you don't you don't want to be losing work for your for your boss, and that is essentially that is essentially what I've done. So not good. Anyway, I thought the driver's coming, so I'm going to put the phone down. See you in a bit. Okay, uh, situation report. Um, they're on break, <laughs> but it's all right. They said back at half past 12, it's 12.21, so it's only nine minutes. There's two flatbeds and a tanker in here. So I presume the two flatbeds wanted to be loaded. So 
I'm third in the line. Uh, we'll just sit tight for 10 minutes, go back over to the booking office, book on in. And I mean, fingers crossed we're out of here in the next two hours. Can't imagine it takes more than an hour per truck. So hopefully the next two hours will be at least in and loaded, fingers crossed. That puts it at half past two. So we'll see. Uh, yeah. Okay, we are getting there. Um, this is what we got on. I put four straps on each one. I think I put another one over there now. So getting over four more straps. Two, three, four. And uh, we're just going to put it in position ready. Here he comes now, look, with, with, we have a lot. One, two, three and four. We're now going to walk down the front out of the way while he puts that on, out for safety. We're going to get four straps to throw over from the other side. My straps are located over there, look. So I'll go grab them now throw them over and do this up. I think that's it. I don't think there's going to be an overhang now. It's good. Uh, I don't know, you know, he hasn't given me the thumbs up. So I think they will be working another one on, which would mean the overhang is going to be about there. So pretty sufficient, but we'll be okay. Okay, we're done. Sun's decided to come out as well. So we've got four straps over each one. So four, eight, 12, 16 straps in total. And then the overhang as well, it's less than a meter. Um, I could do with probably tidying up this a little bit if I can, but I need two hands just to bend it into position so it's a bit tidier. One sec. There we go. It's not much different, but I just tucked it up a little bit so it's not poking out to the side as much. We've got the trusted uh, high vis on the end. Let everyone know that I am a slightly overhanging, uh, but that's less than a meter, so that's fine. Oh, we've also put a bit of wood on the end just to help jack it up a little bit. So yeah, we're gonna go back in the truck now, get weighed off, uh, make our way back down to the hills. Hopefully we're not overweight, otherwise it's gonna be a pain having to unstrap the back four and then reach up back up again. But should be all right, should be all right. Anyway, uh, see you in a bit. So, do you remember I said we're probably gonna get caught in traffic? Yep, we're on the M6. Where exactly are we on the M6? Good question. But just north of Kiel is where we are. Lorry in front has turned the ignition on by the looks of it. We've been sat stationary now for 15 minutes. We haven't moved. Haven't moved. Truck of fun's having fun with his air brakes. Oh, we're moving. Engine on. Check the old mirrors. Yeah, so we're going to be back late. <laughs> Uh, depends how much more traffic we're going to get caught in because we will get caught in traffic on five o'clock as well. So it is what it is. We get back when we get back, but it's going to be like looking like half past six, something like that. Cool. So it'll probably be dark as well, but good news is the new yard has the light, so it won't be the end of the world. We will probably be the last back, so hopefully there's a space for me. <laughs> um, there were some trailers parked in, in our in our lanes, our trailers, but there are only room for three trucks and there's four trucks coming back, so I might be a, I might be short of space, plus I'm slightly long as well, so it could be difficult getting in because it's a bit snug, but not the end of the world. <sighs> anyway, we shall try and get back as soon as we can. So, apologies if I sound ill still, my nose is still blocked up, I feel like I need to sneeze now. I need to sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. Definitely got a cold. Oh, man. House, buying a house. I think I've mentioned in this video, me and the wife, we're in the process of looking at houses to purchase. Monday, start of this week, Monday morning, we had three bookings for tomorrow, being Saturday. Three bookings to view houses. houses. And as of a couple of hours ago, 
we now have one. <laughs> uh, one house sold, a cash buyer, and one is just being taken off the market. They've decided they don't want to sell. This is really annoying because by the time you pick the house, you have a look at the floor plan, you're like, yeah, we could do this, yeah, we could do that, yeah, there's schools here, yeah, there's this, that, there, there. But look, you don't just book an appointment to see a house for the sake of it. You've done a little bit of research into it. Are you going? You know, you've done some research, you've decided it's, you know, potentially a house for you, and then you've, the rug gets taken out from underneath your feet. The rug just gets yanked away, and there's... <laughs> nothing you can do about it because it's not your house um, I was the first time it happened it was for a five bed in Swindon looks amazing and I I fell in love with it not gonna lie just by the pictures I was like that is the house for me I want to move there I want to make an offer now before even seeing the house but we booked a, a viewing and then midweek actually Wednesday they uh, they phoned up and said I'm sorry but it's been sold and that you're just like, wow, I really like that house. <laughs> There's just nothing you can do about it. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking trying to buy a house. So now we've got to try and look at houses, or pick houses and not get attached. Because it, oh, it's, just, it's annoying. I was speaking to Scott Andrews. He, he has recently purchased a house. I have no idea if he said this on a video or not. He probably doesn't even want to get it out, maybe. But he has recently purchased the house. And, uh, yeah, he said he had, like, 20 viewings cancelled. So, yeah, I'm just going to have to not get my hopes up in the future. Right, where are we going to park? That is the question. Is there room for me to park? There should be. We've got allocated parking, but are too many people back? <laughs> Okay, we've got a gap here. Start to get it lined up. I am just concentrating a little bit. Like I said, I've got a bit of an overhang. I don't want to hit one of our trucks. <laughs> so, I'm just going to make sure we can see this side. Ah, yeah, we've got loads of room. Loads of room. If we're going to hit anything, it'd be a trailer but we shouldn't hit it. There is light in this place, but also, it's um, not much of the light. All oh, right, there's someone there now, my boss is there, watching my back. Lovely. Right, we're in. Like I said, I just wanted to make sure I didn't actually hear anything. <coughs> so that's good. Right, I'm going to say hello to some people and then I'll come and sort some stuff out. See you in a bit. Just thought I'd quickly show you the inside of the uh, the warehouse. I've got the Harry and Sons logo up now, look. Happy days. I need to uh, grab some more stuff out of the truck. Put my cameras away and then we can uh, make a move. Right, just doing some uh, last minute cleaning before we leave. It's not perfect. It's hard to see exactly in the dark. It's not clean by any means, but we still give it a wipe over. So it's better than nothing. Lovely doubly. Okay, so that is me done. We're in the yard, parked up. Just going to be over here by the light so you can actually see me a bit more. Um, so yeah, rear end, pretty cool. And yeah, the new Harry and Sons logo is up. Harry and Sons, that's awesome as well. Yeah, we're good, we're done for the day. Um, I've said in another video, this is like a shared yard area. Just had, <laughs> just had another lorry driver 
pull up alongside me. And he goes, I don't know, he probably watches my video, so hello, whoever it was. I couldn't see who it was. Um, but he said, uh, got a Nissan Micra, in, uh, Nissan Micra over there. I said, yeah. He goes, do you want to trade it in for your Civic? <laughs> Made me laugh. No, I'm good, thanks, mate. I am good. Appreciate the offer, though. <laughs> I think you'd have to give me 10 micros for the Civic, I think. Go buy yourself another nine and then I'll, I'll consider it. Anyway, let's walk back to the car, get ready to go. That's it for another week. See you Monday, truck. I don't plan on coming in over the weekend. I might do, I don't know. But I certainly don't plan on coming in on the weekend. I feel, I'm starting to feel better now. I was definitely rough yesterday and this morning but i'm starting to feel a bit better now uh let's go view a house tomorrow now so fingers crossed that's all okay oh there she is there she is lights yeah i am that guy i am that guy with the fog lights <laughs> sue me sue me sue me right we're in the car I don't think I've vlogged from this car, you know? Down, turn down. I'm going to get a copyright strike before I start my engine. <laughs> Just got a message from my wife. You coming home? Yes. Yes, I'm coming home. Um... Engine on. Being cool. I think you can come off, can't you? Yeah. I'll leave that one on actually for a little bit. Yeah, so I'm definitely not trading my uh, my Type R in for a Micra. That is unquestionable. <laughs> definitely not doing that. I like this car park because um, a lot of stones kick up, so can't drive fast out of it. Not that you should drive fast anyway. You 100% should not drive fast. No laws were braked. No laws were broke. Brake, not broke. Yeah, brake, broke, not braked. No laws were broke. I know brake laws. I am the most kind and courteous driver you will see on the roads. I obey traffic signs and signals at speeds. I obey it all. Yeah, so anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Uh, it's a shame that we couldn't get loaded at one of the places. But, you know, things happen for a reason, so not the end of the world. I'm certainly not going to lose any sleep over it. So, uh, I, don't, I don't think my boss is either because we've got work elsewhere anyway, so. It's all gravy. Do you know what? Trucks won't be able to get past that, mate, with you parked there. Trucks come down here. Yeah, so, never mind. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and all that sort of good stuff. Don't forget I've got TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. I've got the lot. So just search Lucy and HTV. I will pop up. I'm everywhere. I'm a little bit like chlamydia. <laughs> I'm an irritating itch. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.